Should you be happy and joyful all the time? Or should you be on purpose, disciplined, masculine energy all the time? This is the age-old question that everybody wants to figure out and create the perfect harmony and balance and integration so that we can be in a state of flow going through life. We know when to submit and go with things and be lenient and flexible, and we know when to be determined, vigilant, and alert and not give in to things, be grounded, put our stake in the ground, create certain boundaries so that we live a fulfilling life and not waste the precious days, the precious breaths that we are given. So in this video, I'll share with you my unique strategy that hopefully when you learn it, it's going to inspire you and it's going to help you for the rest of your life to stay in a state of flow all the time. And it will help you heal and it will help you achieve your goals and dreams. If that sounds like a good deal, please smash that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And if it's your first time here, my name is Hossam. I help people go from socially anxious to socially confident through healing their inhibited voice at the root cause, both physically and psychologically. So without further ado, let's dive in. Should you be happy or should you be on purpose? The way I see things, I'm a visual person. And to me, this is purpose. And we are all trying to go in that direction towards our purpose. And it takes effort to figure out what is our purpose. And finding our purpose in of itself is our purpose. A lot of people get stuck finding their purpose. We have to be in momentum to find our purpose. We cannot find our purpose from the head. We have to find our purpose from the head, united with the heart, united with action from the body. And that's how we continue to unravel our purpose okay so this is our purpose and as we're going towards it the universal law the seven hermetic principles there's a law of cause and effect there's a law of rhythm okay so there are ups and downs waves this is happy this is sad this is excited this is frustrated and it keeps going on and on. That's just the nature of the universe. It's a principle that cannot be sidestepped. So what happens if we try to be happy all the time? Well, we're going to create resistance as the universe is taking us down to sad. What happens if we try to stay excited all the time? We're going to get stuck and we're going to meet resistance when the universe is taking us down to a state of less excitement. And the worst part is it may stop us from reaching our purpose and fulfilling more and more of our purpose because when we resist we're gonna stop this however if we submit to the flow the momentum is gonna take us up to the point of excitement or the point of happiness and then the cycle goes on and on so to me this all together is life and this all together to me is a happy life so paradoxically speaking Happy life has happy and sad. Happy life has excited and a little bit bored. Happy life has motivated and frustrated. But that's not completely it. When I was in high school, I used to have a phrase where I would say, life is a curve. I even had it in the caption on my MSN messenger. And my brother asked me once, what, what do you mean life is a curve? I see it on your MSN messenger in the caption. To me, life is a curve this way. This is a graph, and then this is a straight line of advancing towards our goals and dreams. But it doesn't happen in a straight line. It happens in a rhythmic manner. It happens in ups and downs. So there's a curve. It's up and down. And when you zoom in, you may notice that, oh, I'm taking one step forward and one step backwards. I feel like I'm in the same place. But when you zoom out to maybe months or years, you'll notice that you are ascending. You're not stuck in the same place. Life is a curve, it has ups and downs. So am I saying that we should be submissive to the flow of the universe completely? That's actually not what I'm saying at all. Here's something that I've learned that completely changed my life. It improved my mental health and my effectiveness in my relationships, in my work, and my inner peace. And that thing is, there are forces that try to take you off the path. There are forces that are pulling and pushing and they are deceiving. They don't show up saying we are forces that is here to make you miserable. No, 
they are forces that may be disguised as love they are forces that may be disguised as uh, care but if we don't have the vigilance the discernment if we don't have the alertness to have boundaries and protect our purpose and protect our journey including the ups and downs and everything in between these things are gonna steal our soul they're gonna steal our time they're gonna steal our energy our gifts each of us has gifts to give to our community to our family to our friends and the people we serve and you will find that there are things that are trying to pull your energy that take away your units of attention that you have in the 24 hours of the day and if you don't have the vigilance you're gonna be a victim of it and then you're gonna be like oh well I'm supposed to submit to the flow of life well not in this case here's another level of discernment how can you well it sounds confusing should I submit or should I not submit okay here's what's gonna make the difference this is your brain your brain is the masculine part of you and all these curves this all this journey this is your heart so this is your brain drawing a brain this is your brain it's masculine it creates boundaries it's discipline it's following the purpose and then there's the part of you that's here that's softer it's feminine it goes with the flow it experiences the sadness the excitement and the frustration it experiences the motivation and the demotivation there's complete submission when it comes to the heart and when it comes to the mind there's complete masculinity, there's complete penetration, there's complete going against the grain. With that in mind, you can achieve a state of flow in life. Achieve your dreams, follow your purpose, and at the same time, be in a state of flow. Be happy. To me, being happy is just being in the heart. Feeling the emotions is being happy, even if it's unhappy emotions. To me, that's being happy. That's just my definition of it. And back to the first diagram, so this to me is life. So a little bit meta speaking, a little bit beyond, a little bit speaking of values and ideas and theories. But this will help you heal and yet achieve your goals. Because sometimes when we get into the healing community, it's all about submitting and healing and feeling the feelings and being vulnerable and being open and honest. And that is 100% necessary in the heart and then we have the brain which is about discipline which is masculine it doesn't have emotions it has thoughts it has strategies it has steps to take an action plan and it has going against resistance so the heart submits to resistance submits to anything there's no resistance in the heart at least it's the natural and healthy way for the heart is to have no resistance and complete submission the natural and healthy way for the brain is something I, I like to remind myself of is that I push the impossible boulder up the hill every day. So imagine there's a boulder here. Let me clean up a little bit. So I actually have this on my vision board right behind the camera where I have my strategies and mindsets for life. So imagine there's a boulder and then there's you or me pushing the boulder up the hill. It's an impossible task. This takes masculine energy. This kind of discipline takes masculine energy to push that boulder up the hill. This kind of grit going against resistance that is very difficult. It requires you to do not only difficult tasks, it requires you to do boring tasks. Most people are held back not because they don't want to do the hard things, because they don't want to do the boring things. Believe it or not, a lot of times the boring things are the hardest things to do. Yet, it is the small boring steps that create the big glorious dreams that you want to achieve another layer of this is that once you start taking steps there are graces i imagine like angels that start to pull the boulder with you and help you out and all of a sudden you know somebody wants to partner up with you all of a sudden somebody wants to help you out all of a sudden you get this opportunity as you're doing the boring tasks as you're putting your head down and doing the work to achieve more of your purpose following the state of flow of course so not only are there things that try to distract you and people try to take your attention or energies whatever you believe in but there are also energies and people that want to help you out and want to pull with you and want to push with you 
and it all happens by taking action and gaining momentum and not stopping and staying in that state of flow so when you experience insecurities you can accept them and go on when you experience imposter syndrome you accept it and go on to learn what you need to learn so that you don't become an imposter so that you actually help people from the heart and do your best it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to not be perfect because nobody doesn't make mistakes and nobody is perfect but if people stopped doing what they need to do because they must be perfect or they must not make mistakes nobody would have ever helped anyone in the universe in the history of humanity so that is my theory that is my experience and that is my strategy that i use and utilize almost every day always on my mind and compassion and what is compassion to me compassion to me is feeling my own pain and feeling the other person's pain it grounds me in my reality because if we're not connected to our feelings we're not connected to reality and feelings are in the body and in the heart not in the brain i live most of my life detached from my body and from my feelings and stuck in the brain and that is what created the vocal tightness because that is the archetype of the magician from the four archetypes of our psyche we have a quadrated psyche of king warrior magician lover i speak about it in another video i'll link it here or here actually i'll put the link in the description i'll just put the thumbnail here or here so you get familiar with it so basically we have our intuition we have our brain and we have our heart and we have our guts and these are called in other way king warrior magician lover so the magician to me symbolizes our intuition and sometimes because maybe our childhood was difficult in a certain way we separate from the body we don't want to feel the emotions because they can be crushing if we feel the emotions and if we go into the body so we live in the head where intuition comes from well some people say intuition comes from the heart but some people say intuition comes from the third eye from the pineal gland so in either case according to that model intuition comes from the pineal gland and the magician type has a shadow quality that is called the silent type or the dummy that has all the knowledge but cannot express it so he just sits in the shadow sits quietly in the darkness without mingling with the community without helping people with the knowledge that he has that can benefit them and that is what i teach i teach people how to overcome their inhibited voice from that shadow quality of the magician type from the silent type and if this is something you're interested in the link is in the description for a free mini course that will give you foundations for a healthy voice and the majority of the videos i do are specifically about that and that's what I do my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I have a full course that helps people from A to Z to release all the tension in their voice so that they can speak with confidence for life. So if that's something that you resonate with, I'd be honored to help you out. Check the links in the description. So the heart, the lover part, it's the part of us that has the passion and it's the part of us that experiences the pain. It's the part of us that has the impulse to express and the part of us that if we resist can have the impulse to depress. So all in all, integrity is the answer. Integration of our happiness and integration of our purpose, integration of our feminine heart, integration of our masculine brain, integration of the intuition, the brain, the heart, and the guts. The guts is the animal nature of us, the animal part of us, the physical, the sexual, and the aggressive part of us. Everything must be integrated. We cannot deny one without having negative or less than desired consequences we must be fully integrated to create the healing that we want and to create the progress towards our dreams that we want so i hope that was helpful if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already thank you so much for watching much love i'll see you in the next video